Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you this newly completed mini album featuring Graphic 45 Elegance. And this is a new project for me. Um, I put the, the tutorial for the box out early just because it was new and I wanted to share that as soon as I had completed it. But now my project is complete, so we're gonna go over all of the details and I'm going to especially focus on details that I did not cover during any of the tutorials. So I did cover this when I covered the album. This is a fussy cut apart from the ephemera cards and it's chipboard back so it's slightly elevated. This is a cut apart from the collection and here's a piece of chipboard. Here's some ribbon. I um, added a piece of chipboard here which I did not cover as part of the base tutorial. There's the sides. And I did leave the bottom black, although I have to say there's enough paper to cover it. I uh, completed the album and I still have four 12 by 12 intact pieces that I have not cut into. Everything else has been cut into. And here's our album. Isn't that fun? I just love the way that <laughs> that works. Now it's kind of a bulky album because there are six pages, but I do want to share, I'm going to hold it sideways. I'm going to share with you that here's the back, and hopefully you can see this, and here's the front. So you can see there's plenty of space between each one of these pages to house your photos and allow it to expand. <clears throat> Page one, isn't this pretty? So there's a five by seven photo mat that slips into the belly band. This is a cut apart uh, from one of the, um, I believe it's from the 8x8 collection pack, but I'm not positive. But I cut it off of, it's not uh, an ephemera card and it's not a piece of chipboard. This opens to the left and to the right. There is a nice large photo mat, and this photo mat is 5 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters. So you can get a 5 by 7 photo on here and still have a nice border around it. <clears throat> okay, page two. I added a piece of chipboard here. It just helps, helps sort of as an indicator that there's a flap here. And inside this page, there is a nice pocket. And I've matted and made a card of this ephemera. So this is the front, this is the back of the same card. So you have this nice journaling space. And then this is a five by seven photo mat. Ooh, I thought I covered both sides, but it's a five, and I have enough paper I can. I thought I already did that. Five by seven, so if you put a four by six, you'd have a nice border around it. So even though it's not a very complicated flap system, you still have a lot of space for photos because of the photo mats. This is um, a cut apart from the eight by eight collection pack. It, there's also um, a three by four ephemera card. I just happened to cut it out uh, of the eight by eight pack. You can use it out of the ephemera pack as well. Okay, and then I did some color blocking here and here. Nice large photo mat again. Paperbacked on both sides, which is nice. Makes it nice and rigid, so it'll goes goes into the pocket. You don't have to worry about it waffling on you. Okay, this is a cut apart from the eight by eight collection pack. And again, oh, I guess I didn't back these. There is enough paper to back these. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, and this is uh, an ephemera card. That's the front of the ephemera card. And then this is the same ephemera card, reverse side. So you've got lots of journaling space, or you can just set your photo right inside that frame. Either one. This is a cut apart from the 8x8 collection pack, I think. But I don't, I'm not sure. I think it's from the collection pack. Now this page, during the tutorial, I, t I told you I put this in upside down and that's why this is, this is going down and not up. But it turns out I had enough paper that I remounted the inside so that everything is right side up. So that was just fortunate. Now if it was built correctly, it would have been reversed and the pink would be on top and the black would be on the bottom. So I couldn't change that, but I could definitely change this and this. Okay, nice, nice large photo mat once again. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. I think you guys like this project. 
Um, my next project is going to be uh, Baby First Year. So there's going to be, it's going to be a relatively repetitive album. It's going to have 12 pockets in it uh, to cover one month of each year of the baby. I guess it's these that I was thinking about. I did uh, put cardstock on both sides. Okay, this opens to the left and right. Lots of photo space. Now these are slightly larger than four inches and they're six inches tall, so you can put a slightly trimmed down four by six photo here easily. These inserts are five by seven. So a four by six with a nice border or a five by seven. Again, a nice large insert. Okay, this opens like so. And then in here, I've got an ephemera card. Now I used this ephemera card on the cover. I fussy cut the fan out and used it on the cover. So I didn't have the flip side, so I used an alternate here. So the orientation is different, but that's okay. And then a nice photo mat, black on one side and pattern on the other. I love this paper, you guys. This is fussy cut from the eight x eight collection pack. Opens up and down, nice large photo space. A that one doesn't want to come out. Sorry. Nice large photo mat. So you can see I've covered both sides. I don't always do that because I don't always have enough paper. Um, these are cut aparts from the 8 by 8 collection pack and also just various images in the collection. They're open ended so you can tuck your photo in here so you can still get a photo here. And then you can open top to bottom and these are just alternating patterns. And this opens and again we've got inserts so we've got this ephemera card front and back and then a nice photo mat five by seven which i talked about in the build process and we did have enough paper for that so that was nice and this is uh if i'm not mistaken i've got my ruler here this is finished a finished panel of five by six, so you can get a nice size photo on here without having to crop it if you want. And if you don't want to do that side, you can do it on this side. Nice large photo mat. And then here's our last page. And then we've got a photo mat here. Lovely, lovely. Now, the, I had a couple of uh, five by seven inserts in here. I think there's four of them in total, and I only covered one side, but you do have enough uh, paper to cover both sides. I guess I just missed it in the end of the build process. So we'll let those all lay down. This closes, and that is the walkthrough for Elegance. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I look forward to sharing my next project with you guys real soon. If you could, leave a nice comment, share, like, um, and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time we have new content on our channel. Thanks for joining us here at Scrap and Create. I'll see you soon.